Roblox Rainbow Friends does have a lot of players, but did you know that there are many types of players within the game as well? Ranging from many types within the game, here are 20 different types of players in Rainbow Friends. Don't forget to let us know which type you are in the comments, and smash like and subscribe if you think you are a pro as well. Number 1, The Noob. I mean, hey, we gotta start with the most obvious, right? These are players who absolutely have no idea what's going on in the game. Most of the time, you'll see these players around spawn, or even worse, AFK. A lot of them generally like to hide around and let other players do the job of finding as they are trying to figure out how the game is played. Nothing wrong with that, but sometimes it can be annoying. Number 2, The Speedrunner. The direct opposite of the noob, we do have the speedrunner or pro. These guys know exactly where the objects are in the map and tend to carry the server. From juking monsters to not even using the box once at all, having a speedrunner in a server generally can be great as you will most likely finally get a chance to win the game. Number 3, the scaredy cat. Not exactly like a noob, we do have the players who are not huge fans of horror games and tend to get scared a lot. These are the types of players you'll find holding objects that the team needs, but they hide in the boxes for long periods of time as they are too scared to jump out of it. They are also the types of players that walk with the box the entire time, just slowing everyone down in the process. I mean, the jump scares are not that scary once you've been hit a couple times to be honest. Number 4, The Flaunter. These are the players who like to show off their newly acquired boxes and some of the rarest boxes in the game as well. Though the different designs and effects on the boxes do not change gameplay, it can get to the head of certain players as they like to rub it in others' faces. Number 5, The Lagger. These are people who literally lag out of the game in the very beginning. I get that Rainbow Friends can be a taxing game, especially on mobile, but some people are not even able to play the game, thus already cutting down on manpower even before the game starts. What was the most amount of laggers that have left your server before? Let us know in the comments. Number 6, The Hacker. These guys literally hack the game in order to help everyone farm gems. Not really the funnest play to play Rainbow Friends, but not going to lie, I'm not complaining about all these farmed gems. Number 7, The Cosplayer. These people love Rainbow Friends so much that they actually cosplay as the monsters themselves within the cosplaying games. I mean, wouldn't you want to turn into a giant blue and see what it's like being the monster for once? Honestly, it's pretty interesting, believe it or not. Number 8, The Rager. You simply cannot forget about the Rager. These people love to complain in the chat and constantly questions who has the objects in order to speed it up. A lot of these players generally swear whenever they get caught, so yeah, that's karma to you, pal. Number 9, the Troll. These are some of the worst kinds of people that you could have in a server. Literally all they do is grab an item and freeze it in order to slow everyone down. They will not return to the theater, basically causing people to rage kit from the server. Totally not cool. Number 10, the Choker. These people tend to do very well in the beginning of the round, and they do help out quite a bit with finding more objects for the server, but for some reason every time right before you win, they end up getting caught. Well, if only you were alive for just a couple more seconds, man. Number 11, The Mobile Player. As intended, these are people who play Rainbow Friends on a mobile device such as a phone. You can kind of tell that they are based on the way they move around. Mobile players can range heavily depending on the experience they have, so if they move slowly around the game, don't bug them too much. Number 12, The Commando. These are the players that generally like to command people where to go and they are always on top of things too. They will help pinpoint the locations of the blocks and also tell you where the monsters currently are in an updated fashion. Granted, they can be annoying, especially when they call out certain players, but that's why you can just turn the chat off. Number 13, The Bait. 
Definitely one of my favorite types of players are these ones. These people try and bait the monsters to one area, leaving everyone open to collect the objects needed to progress through the chapters. Especially when it comes to the first chapter against Blue, he makes everyone's job super easy as long as he doesn't get too close. Number 14, The Whole Camper. Similar to the scaredy cats, the hole campers tend to hide within the walls, especially in these certain holes and hiding spots placed all around the game. There's also this very popular hiding spot they tend to hide near the theater as the monsters cannot get into that area. It's common to see people hiding in these spots for nearly the whole game, pretty much waiting for other people to finish the chapter. Number 15, The Toxic Player. Pretty self-explanatory, but these players absolutely love to criticize others based on their playing speed or knowledge of the game. They either talk about how bad everybody is in the server, or they like to talk about how pro they are compared to everyone else. Toxic players really do ruin the game's experience, so it's probably just best to ignore them. Number 16, Lobby Campers. As with most games with a dedicated queuing lobby, these are players who tend to just join the game and chill in the main lobby without even playing the actual game. Maybe they are either talking with some friends or are simply just AFK, but we really have no idea why these players stand around wasting time in the main lobby. Number 17, Ditchers. Of course, these are people who queue up forming a big group and then during the last second or two they get out of the circle in order to send everyone else with a couple less players than they are supposed to. They are a little bit like a troll, but at least it's not as bad as actually freezing the progress for everybody in the chapter. Number 18, The Admin. Sometimes, if you are really lucky, you may find one of the admins of the game join into your server. Honestly, this does come with a risk. Make sure you're not doing anything stupid or else you might just get banned from the server and or game. Number 19, The Veteran. It's really surprising that not many people have still been able to beat the game, but veterans are shown right underneath their avatars how many games that they have won. The higher the number, most likely the better your chance of winning is as well due to their experience. Number 20, The Gambler. These are the players who are often loaded in Robux and want to gamble in game for a better chance to get some of those rare boxes and customized skins. Of course, they'll probably have a huge inventory of them to show off, but they did buy them, so power to them. But which type of player are you in Rainbow Friends? Let us know in the comments down below. Smash like and subscribe or else you'll automatically be a noob. And good luck. Oh, and yeah, don't forget to use star code attack.